Xbox Series X development boss talks about huge upgrades coming to the next generation consoles, including other features and upgrades that can give the Xbox console a massive advantage. Let's get into this because there's a lot to talk about. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for stopping by. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you enjoy the content. The support is greatly appreciated. So let's get right into what's being said by Jason Ronald, who you might remember is one of the main architects of the Xbox Series X console. He's been at the forefront of the entire project and has even been interviewed a few times to talk about the specs and configurations inside this next generation system. And while he was a pretty popular guy before the consoles released, he's since been a little quiet when it comes to the tech inside the system. And of course this is the case because a lot of people have their consoles and are enjoying it. Not to mention a lot of YouTube channels and insiders have dissected the Xbox Series X so we can see exactly what type of hardware the thing truly has. And while Jason Ronald was great to give us hints and spec information before the consoles came out, he's since relaxed and really hasn't said much. Until now, when he mentioned that there's a pretty big update coming to the console on multiple fronts, I'm talking features, hardware upgrades, and working with developers. There's a lot to go off of in this interview that he just had on the Xbox podcast, and I'm ready to dive into it, so let's get into what the article starts off by saying. Xbox development boss teases exciting platform updates. This is just the beginning. Jason Ronald says his team is currently updating quick resume, broadcasting, and more. So right off the bat, I have to say that the exciting platform updates isn't just the quick resume, which if you've played the Xbox Series X, knows it's an amazing feature. The premise of the feature is that you can switch between five games at a time when on your console. No longer do you have to wait and load a game before jumping into it. I've been using this feature for the last several months and I have to admit it's one of the best features I didn't know I wanted. I love that I'm able to play one game and if I want to move to another one, I can just switch over in the span of 15 seconds, if not less. And that's all great, but like the title says, this is only the beginning. Here's what the article continues to say about the upgrades. Xbox's platform development boss has teased exciting new features coming to the Series X and S, stating that what's being released so far for the console is just the beginning. Speaking on the latest official Xbox podcast, Director of Program Management Jason Ronald said that these new platform announcements would be made as early as over the next couple months. Director of Programming Larry Herb added that there's a lot coming. We can't really say too much and tease that. I think that we're going to have Jason Ronald back on sooner rather than later. Ronald said, as a team, we're just really excited by this initial response from fans all around the world. At launch, we say all the time internally, this is really just the beginning. We've got a lot of really exciting things that are coming down the pipeline over the coming months and over the coming years. All right, I have to say that for the longest time, we've talked about the next generation consoles and how they're nowhere near being finished. Is the hardware finish and the making of these manufactured consoles finished? Of course, but that's not even half of the battle when it comes to technology, because one of the most important parts of any form of tech is the maintenance of it. From my experiencing, coding and creating something is only 20% of the work that it needs to be done. The next 80% is the maintenance of it and improving it. That's exactly what's happening right now for both the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. And from what we've seen from Xbox and their devoted team of engineers, I have a feeling that a massive upgrade for the Xbox Series X is going to happen very shortly. Features will be improved, hardware will be used more, and software will be far more efficient. The best example I can give is when the Xbox One came out, there was a completely different UI when it launched. Different features, different hardware, like the Kinect launched with it. There was so much attached to the system that over time, Xbox started to take things out that didn't really matter, just so they can squeeze the most out of the system. Not to mention, they worked with developers from all over the industry to see exactly what they wanted on the systems, which is something that Jason talks about right here. He added, we're also partnering really closely with key game developers from all across the industry to really take full advantage of all the next gen capabilities that we put into the Xbox Series S and the Series X. We really are excited as we get further into the year and closer to this holiday to start sharing more of the details about what's in development and how you can really take advantage of these next gen platforms. This to me is one of the most important aspects of these updates. Xbox isn't just updating things because they think it's the best thing to do. 
No, instead they're working hand in hand with developers to get the most out of the console. I'm sure they're working with third party developers, but mostly I'm sure they're working with first party developers that are a part of the Xbox teams. And why wouldn't they do that? These consoles are here to make game development easy for developers and to make gaming easy for gamers. That's the main thing consoles should do. And like I said earlier, we know that Xbox and all the gaming world has been on a little bit of a break since the holiday season. So we haven't really gotten a lot of updates for the console, not to mention updates on games coming out. But it's a great time for Microsoft and Xbox to get data on what people are doing with their console. This usually happens over the holiday break, which is something that Jason Ronald mentions here. The platform development boss said his team had taken an extended break following the launch of the Xbox Series X and S last November, and that he saw it as an opportunity to lean back and just listen to the community and listen how people are using the consoles, what they're excited about, areas that we can improve. Now that the team is back, we're starting to release a series of updates, he said. Like I've said multiple times before, the main aspect of this extended break is for Xbox to gather data and improve the quality of life for gamers. Engineers aren't going to upgrade a feature or extend a feature if people just don't use it. It's why Snap went away and it's why other features like the Kinect left Xbox. Yet features that people use frequently are going to get upgrades, even ones that gamers complained about not having at the launch of a console, which is something that happened with Quick Resume. Here's what the article had to say about that. One area that we really focused on was at launch, we had to disable quick resume on some titles in the launch window, he explained. The team's been working really hard to be able to re-enable those titles so that people are getting that great quick resume experience on all the titles that people are playing. In other areas like we've seen reports of things like controller disconnects as an example. That's another area that the team's really been investing in to make sure that you're just getting the best in-class experience on the Xbox Series X and Series S. Ronald went on to reveal that some areas the Xbox platform team were focusing on were missing features on the Xbox app and giving Series X and S users more control over quick resume. This is great to see that the engineers at Xbox are not only improving the hardware for developers, but they're improving features that didn't launch in the best of ways. We all know about the Xbox controller losing connection or quick resume not working with certain games. So I'm happy they're working on all these and for the next several months, we're going to see improvements on those features. Not to mention a lot of the next generation features, which is what Ronald says as he closes the interview. So over the coming months, we're going to be updating the Xbox mobile app to add things like achievements and then other areas that we're really focused on. As we think about the console experiences, we've listened to the feedback about improvements of broadcasting as an example, he said. Another thing is the sharing experience and the quality of things like game DVR. And then I mentioned earlier about enabling quick resume for even more titles since launch. We've also seen the feedback about people want more understanding of how quick resume works and more control over the experience. These are all areas that are really high priorities for us and we're looking at future updates over the coming months and you'll be able to start seeing some of these experiences in the insider rings really soon. And there you have it everyone, I'm excited to see what these improvements are and to be honest I'm very excited about the mobile app getting improvements because I've been a very loud critic about the Xbox app. I like the way it looks but it's become very useless compared to other platforms apps. So I'm happy they want to start adding achievements and other great things that the Xbox platform provides us on the console. Let's hope these updates continue and we start to see these improvements take hold because I want the money I put into this console to not go to waste. Let's see the investment and improvements we know that Xbox is pumping into these systems because that's exactly what Microsoft and Xbox are doing. They're really providing a lot of money and infrastructure to the Xbox platform and it starts with the Series X and it expands across the entire ecosystem. I'm glad we're starting to see this and I think Xbox is going to bring out a lot of updates to the Series X and S consoles. But enough of what I think about all of this, tell me what you think about all of this. Are you excited for the Xbox upgrades coming? Do you use the Xbox app on your phone or tablet? What other improvements can you see Xbox make to the console? Are developers a huge part of these upgrades? What features do you want to see get improvements? What features do you want to see come back to the console? Is the Xbox Series X going to get even more powerful? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button to support us out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. 
Right now, I'm playing a lot of Assassin's Creed, and I'm kind of going through a bunch of games. I'm going through smaller games on Game Pass, and honestly, downloading a couple big games on there too. There's so much to go around in gaming, and I'm just having a lot of fun with them. But I really do need to stick to one game, and I think it's going to be Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I want to get into that before all the other big games come out, especially like the Mass Effect Remastered Trilogy. I think I'm going to go through all three of those games once it drops, and not to mention the new Far Cry coming out in May. So we have a couple months before some big games come out, but overall, I'm just excited to be playing games on my Xbox and my PC and I have been playing a little bit of Rocket League for ranked and having fun with multiplayer but let me know what you're playing are you working through your backlog or are you playing a couple games that you haven't played in a while I might be going back on the PS5 and playing some of the back compact games especially since they've been getting some upgrades on them through backwards compatibility I hope they improve that on the PlayStation side because there's a bunch of games I want to play on there and that's all for now thanks for watching and until next time remember enjoy your gaming later